Hello, my name is David Bogan, and my vlog is going to be on my guinea pig, Myla, and how to take care of her, how, or more specifically, how I take care of her. So first, I will be showing you guys her cage, all the accessories I have in it, and then I will go into her food, what uh, food is good for my guinea pig or other guinea pigs, and as well as what vegetables they can eat. I will also be cleaning her cage for you guys so that you guys can see how I clean it and uh, just some tips or you guys can give me tips as well and let's get right into it. As you can see here's her cage and two things that you're going to need for a guinea pig absolutely need is a food dish of some sort and a water dish. Now guinea pigs tend to get bored they like to have a lot of uh, uh, stuff to play with so it's very important that you have a lot of toys. And then another very important thing is you need to have a chewy. So to keep their teeth healthy, you want to have some piece of wood or something like card uh, cardboard they love to chew on. As you can see, she has destroyed the little car I put in there. And she likes to eat the piece of wood. Then you're going to also need some sort of bed for your guinea pig. And this, in this case, is her bed. She likes to sleep in here. She usually sleeps on this end. And there's a couple holes here and at the end and there's one over there and then another thing that I just added just for more fun is this little tunnel up top so as you can tell it's just a tunnel that goes adds on to the second layer and it goes all the way through and another thing I added in there was some balls just to be fun because she likes to hit them with her nose and chase them sometimes it's pretty cute Hey you guys, so now for feeding your guinea pig. So uh, veggies wise, uh, if you look up online, it can give you every specific and everything, but there is about three vegetables that they can be given daily. And that is carrots, zucchini, and broccoli. Those are the main three at least. So if you would like to give your uh, guinea pig vegetables daily, use those three. And as you can see, I have carrots. I just buy like the, the baby carrots that you can get at the store. So they're easier to, yeah, easier to give to her. I just snap it in half and then she has a piece and I put the other piece in her cage. So I'll put those in her cage now as a little treat. And then the other thing that's very important is that you guys get good actual food for them. So as you can, see here i have a tub of her food and her food is a timothy brand uh food and it's just timothy ham or t timothy guinea pig food and uh, as you can tell it's got lots of uh well, i don't know if you can really tell but it has different uh corn and it's got carrots and a ton of different like dried vegetables and then these little like pellet things that you can see the little like brown pellets that it's mostly consists of is actually timothy hay and that's really good for them they need hay on a daily um, I also give my guinea pig cucumbers, but if you were to just take care of my guinea pig on a daily basis, you would just probably give her one to two carrots a day. She's pretty chill. This is her uh, cleaner, her pet shampoo that I use. It is pet friendly and it's all just made out of plants. So let's get into cleaning her. The uh, foam soap, so there's no water. You literally just take this and you're gonna push the top and I, it's literally just like foam. And you just rub that into the guinea pig onto their fur and that keeps them clean and she doesn't hate it. I wouldn't say she likes it. I can try and get her out for you. This might take a second, though. So 
she doesn't necessarily love to uh, be held or cleaned, but you can try and clean her off a little bit more. As you can see, you just want to kind of rub it into her. You don't want to scare the guinea pig a ton. They don't necessarily love to be touched and rubbed everywhere. So just be gentle and then just rub it in. But you don't have to... They recommend that you dry, like towel dry them. But I have been just sticking her in a towel for a little bit and letting her just play around or just taking her back in her cage after rubbing it in for about 15 minutes and she's totally good. So yeah, again, the cleaner I'm using is called Kindful. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but that is what I'm using to clean her. Hey guys, I will now be cleaning Milo's cage for you, so showing you guys how to do that. But I am, however, just going to do a time lapse to save some time and make it a little bit shorter. But uh, if you notice in the video, I obviously I take the top off of the cage and then I uh, take the I put a bottom layer on below, like uh, it's a plastic, like the actual cage, obviously as you can see, and then I put a layer of like a, a felt. And then I put the bedding on top and the bedding I use is a uh, paper bedding, just shredded paper. That's what I use. It's the best for it to keep out odors and I really don't want it smelling in my room. So I just chose the one that's the best for odors. Uh, you can also do wood and you can also just do fabric on the bottom. You don't really need the bedding, but uh, she likes it. So yeah, let's get into the cleaning.